Hey everyone, uh, Jordan here for Box Angle Bands um, with some playing tips. Uh, I don't have access to a nice camera right now, but I've got some info that I just want to throw out there. Um, hopefully you can use it. Um, today I want to talk about flutter tonguing. Um, it's one of the first tips or tricks that I learned to help fix my airflow issues, and I can't tell you how great it uh how great it is and I completely absolutely use it today in my daily practices to make sure everything's going um, so it's really simple <clears throat> let's take um, I've, always, I've just known this as uh, the flow study and I think it's Chickowitz but I'll play it for you real quick okay so that's that's what I learned it over um, what you do is you take whatever exercise, uh, whatever passage you're playing, slurs, doesn't matter, and in order to help you figure out how your flow is doing, you just add a flutter tongue to it. So I take the same passage. And what's really cool is, one, it adds resistance, right? So it's going to make you use more air than you would normally start out using which is great because the more you're on your air the less you're on your chops um, and it also gives you a really really distinct feedback um, as, as to how you're you're blowing through all your note changes because if you if you let that flow down or go um, the your ability to flutter tongue will actually go away and you'll actually lose the flutter tongue or it'll change speeds, and there's all sorts of stuff um, that'll happen uh, when you don't do it correctly. Um, the same thing can be used when you're going after, say, uh, figuring out how to do a decent lip slur. Um, especially if, you know, you... Uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, so I'll take uh, just a simple lip slur. So I'll do it the first time right there. Airflow is checking out. Uh, like I said, it adds resistance. Um, it's really cool because you can work with whatever passage um, and you're still using tone without getting into the mouthpiece playing, which is another great thing to do. If you're not playing on your mouthpiece, you're crazy. Uh, well, I know certain schools of thought aren't about you know playing on the mouthpiece. I am a big fan of it. I think you should be doing it more often than not. Um, if it's uh, a technical passage, uh, so like uh, Clark's two. By no means am I professional level, but I'll tell you what, immense, immense, immense um, ability to follow through with my air over that. Obviously, we got. To, I'm still working on, you know, tone and consistency of clarity. Um, but before you can get to any of that, you have to fix your flow. So, uh, flutter tonguing. Try it. Um, I didn't go super fast over the Clarks, but even over your fast licks, you'll find that um, using uh, flutter tonguing creates that resistance. So when you actually go to do an act, uh, a quick technical passage, you'll be using more air, which will hopefully get you more tone out of each note as you're quickly rolling through it. So flutter tonguing, that's one of my silver bullets for playing better. <laughs>